Welcome back. If you've just joined us, you're watching Channels Television, celebrating 21 years of professional broadcasting. This is the News at 10. And now to some of the reports you sent to I would just portal. We begin with this video from Matori area in Oshodi here in Lagos, showing policemen who were alleged to have been engaged in harassment. Our eyewitness reporter claims that the incident has taken place more than twice, and once it stopped. You'll be stopping uh, vehicles where, 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 where there is a uh, uh, ghost flow. Stop here, this is the bus stop. You are harassing me. I think you know. You keep harassing me. I think you know. You keep harassing me. I think you know. This is not the first time you are harassing me. I think you know. I think well, next is this image of a canal filled with plastic materials. Our eyewitness reporter, who sent this in from Alapere area in Lagos State, wants the canal cleared and warns against dumping of waste in waterways. And from Ewekoro in Ogun State comes our next photo of a gaseous emission. Our eyewitness reporter is worried by the implication of this pollution, which he says is a common sight there. And this photo of a bad road was sent from Okekere in Iloring, the Quara State capital. According to our eyewitness reporter, the section of the road was constructed two years ago, but has been in this shape for more than eight months now. He wants the road repaired. Our final image is from Abuja, the federal capital territory, showing people, our eyewitness reports, reporter says, our staff of Public Complaints Commission protesting non-payments of their salaries. We do sincerely thank you for sending in those pictures as we ask you to keep them coming. Airtel, the smartphone network. You're watching the news at 10 on Channels Television, reaching you live from Lagos. So quickly move on to our Abuja studios where Gloria Umezweke is standing by to take us through. Gloria. Hello again, Bar, great to see you and uh, welcome to the nation's capital. The military option may not be the right way to resolve the ongoing crisis in the country's Niger Delta region. Well, that's according to the governor of Bayelsa State, Mr. Seriaki Dixon. He made this known after meeting with the president at the villa in Abuja. The meeting, which lasted for about an hour, focused on measures to proffer some solutions to attacks on oil installations in the oil-rich region. Well, speaking to State House correspondents, Governor Dixon thanked the president for his non-interference in the Bielsa elections. In the Niger Delta, the terrain, the historic nature of the issues and challenges are such that military solution may not be the way forward. Uh, for us, who are products of the political system, we are at this level, we have a duty to mobilize communal and local leadership. We have a duty to support the work that intelligence agencies and security agencies are doing. We have a duty to ensure that issues are better appreciated and that we break the communication gap. And where there are issues, those issues need to be addressed. It's also our issue, our, our duty to network, as I'm doing, ensure that uh, uh, problems that are identified as the root cause of some of these challenges are looked into. The military solution I've always maintained is not the right option. The change of leadership style adopted in the military has contributed largely to the successes recorded in the fight against terror. Well, that's according to the Chief of Defense Staff, Lieutenant General Gabriel Olunishaki. The military chief made this known while speaking at a lecture series on leadership at the National Defense College in Abuja. He says no amount of equipment or technological superiority will ensure military success without the implementation of visionary leadership. No amount of equipment and technological superiority will ensure success without adequate leadership as others. The chief instructs you to note that the leadership of the Air Forces of the military approach to military leadership has proven to have very positive effects on morale, commitment, and fighting efficiency of the forces. This approach has been partly responsible 
when the service of substances are key in the ongoing operation. Application of interpersonal cell and leadership has also helped to effectively synergize with other organizations and agencies, including the media and foreign partners to achieve their results. With the new approach adopted by the Office of Nigeria and continued support of government and the Nigerian people, I am confident that we are better positioned to effectively contain the security challenges that are confronting the nation. The first headquarters has commenced the process of reviewing the harmonized terms and conditions of service for both officers and soldiers, military and airmen. Although the country is currently tackling with some economic challenges, it is my better belief that better military services for our personnel will start as one of the strategies for enhancing professionalism and an essential aspect of leadership. Meanwhile, Canada has commended the Nigerian military for its efforts at curbing the activities of Boko Haram in the country. In an interview with our foreign affairs correspondent, Amarachi Ubani, the Canadian High Commissioner to Nigeria, Perry Calderwood, who has been in the country for three years, says he has monitored progress made against the group and is proud that Canada has been a part of it has in fact achieved uh, tremendous progress over the last uh, year or year and a half in, uh, in, in combating Boko Haram. I was fortunate enough in late June to travel to Maiduguri and from there to Damaturu in, in Yobe State uh, by land and was able to see with my own eyes that uh, a large measure of security has been restored at least in, in the cities. Um, sadly, I also saw that uh, the humanitarian impact of the uh, Boko Haram insurgency and very large numbers of internally displaced persons and, and, and the humanitarian needs as a consequence of that. Uh, to, to respond to your question about what Canada has done, we have looked for niches where we can uh, complement what other partners have been doing to support Nigeria and, and Nigeria's own significant capacity. Um, a lot of our effort has been focused in the area of training the federal police of Nigeria We've offered a number of courses over the last couple of years focused on areas such as post-blast investigation, interview techniques, intelligence gathering, and so forth to help the police uh, strengthen its capacity to combat con crime, including terrorism. Uh, that's, that's one example. And in the area of security, we've supported a number of other projects and elsewhere in the Well, residents of Iwe Dogbon community in Lagos have been speaking on their ordeal in the hands of success but suspected militants who laid siege to their community on Monday. When Channel's television visited the area, it was discovered that most of the residents have fled the community with most houses and business premises shut. The Commissioner of Police, Fatai Uwosheni, explains that the situation has been put under control and a joint security patrol will remain there. Ewe Dogbon, a community occupied by residents from diverse ethnic groups in Nigeria, is located a few kilometers from Iba town in Lagos State. At the entrance of the community, a heavily armed man with an armored personnel carrier stationed nearby. They are here to keep the peace in the community, which came under attack by some suspected militants on Monday. For now, the entire community is devoid of human activity as homes and shops are under lock and key. Although the alleged hideouts of the militants on Bamboshi Oyedele Street has been set ablaze, the security operatives insist even these shanties must go down. I want a job. 
on l'a cause problème nous do aller loi que sans ni yebi do gbon on ta e black market black market on pe on don ta on ta gba to ton change ko ninu black market lo di i pe on be e po kanta gba to jazz no di pon kan po on ju ade on yi gbon we ni ra o ya here you, you can see my military counterpart with me as well um to come and appraise what we did yesterday to see what gaps are left uh, from what we did yesterday in order to be able to um, you know further strategize on the need to increase our dominance on the need to increase our visibility here and of course uh, um, to further um, prepare our operation in order not to give um, this criminal element um, freedom of action hey Uma, where are you going Come here. Oh. And then the operatives notice a suspicious move leading to the arrest of these suspects. In the face of this level of security on ground and intensified patrols around the community, the residents may now heave a sigh of relief and return to their homes. When the news at 10 returns, UK Prime Minister's trade envoy visits the Nigeria Stock Exchange, pledges stronger trade relations with Nigeria. But that's in business news. Mr. Mr.